In this lesson, we're looking at graphing factored polynomials. Our essential question, how do you sketch the graph of a polynomial function in factored form? Before we can start graphing polynomials, we first want to discuss what turning points are. Basically, a turning point is a point where a function changes from an increasing to a decreasing function or vice versa. The graph of every polynomial function of degree n has at most n minus 1 turning points. If a polynomial has n distinct real zeros, then its graph has exactly n minus 1 turning points. So let's take a look at this. Here's our first example. Sketch a graph of the function by finding the zeros. How does the degree of the polynomial compare to the number of x-intercepts? Well, before we can graph this, I need to figure out what my m behavior for my graph is going to be. To do that, I'm going to look at my x values and multiply them. So it's x times x times x, which gives me x cubed. A couple of things we can get from this term. First of all, we can get that we have two turning points in our graph and that we have three intercepts. We can also get that since our leading coefficient is 1 that our leading coefficient is positive and our exponent is 3 which means it's odd. So when we're looking at n behavior we have a down up graph which means our graph starts at the bottom and ends at the top. To figure out what our intercepts are, we take each one of these factors and terms and set it equal to 0 and solve for x. Take our first term x, set it equal to 0, and one of our intercepts is at x equals 0. Take our second quantity x minus 1, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. Our second intercept is at x equals 1. Take our last quantity, set it equal to 0, and solve for x we get x equals negative 1. Since our intercepts are really close together, I'm going to space out my intervals on my graph. Start by plotting your intercepts. You got an intercept at x equals 0, an intercept at x equals 1, and our intercept at x equals negative 1. We know that the end behavior of our graph, it starts at the bottom and goes up. So we'll start at the bottom, go through one of our intercepts, which is negative 1. It's going to do a turn somewhere over here and go through our second intercept, which is 0. And it's going to go down, and it's going to turn over here and go through our last intercept, which is 1, and then continue to go up. Notice we said we had two turning points. We figured this out by taking our exponent 3 and subtracting 1 from it, and so we can have at the very most two turning points, we can also have less. And in this graph over here, we have two turning points, and we do this in order for our graph to be able to cross the intercepts. At this time, I'm not paying attention to how high or low your graph goes in the turning points. What I would want you to get from this lesson is, first of all, what is the end behavior, how many turning points are in your graph, and what are the intercepts for your graph? Later on, we'll go in and we'll figure out what is our maximum and minimum values for our polynomial graph. Here's our second example. Sketch a graph of the function by finding the zeros. How does the degree of the polynomial compare to the number of intercepts? Start by multiplying your x's. x times x times x times x gives me x to the power of 4. This means that I have 4 intercepts at least three turning points. Our leading coefficient is 1, which is positive, and our exponent is 4, which is even, so our end behavior is going to go an up-up motion. Solving for the intercepts, I'm going to set each one of these factors equal to 0, and what I get over here is x equals negative 3, x equals negative 3, x equals negative 3, and x equals negative 3. So I do have four intercepts, but notice that here, all of my intercepts are the same. So if I was going to graph this, all of my intercepts are going to cross in the same point, which is at negative 3. I know that it's an up-up motion, so it starts up and goes up. So my graph of this factored form is going to look something like this, where it starts up, ends up, and is crossing the x-axis at x equals 
negative 3. In this question, we are given that f of x is equal to x cubed minus 13x squared plus 44x minus 32. And we know that x minus 4 is a factor. And we are asked to graph this. Well, if I know x minus 4 is a factor, then I know that one of my points is going to be at x equals 4. But I need to factor the polynomial in order to find what the other turning points are. To do this, I'm going to take my polynomial x cubed minus 13x squared plus 44x minus 32 and divide it by the factor x minus 4. So my coefficients for the polynomial are 1, and that's x cubed, negative 13x squared, 44x minus 32 is our constant. So it's 3, 2, 1. I am not missing any terms, so I don't need to put a 0 in there. And I'm going to divide this by 4. When I do my division, bring the first term down, and I've got 1 times 4, which is positive 4. Negative 13 plus 4 is negative 9. Negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. 44 minus 36 is 8. 8 times 4 is positive 32. Negative 32 plus 32 is 0. And so x cubed minus 13x squared plus 44x minus 32 can be factored into x minus 4 times the quantity x squared minus 9x plus 8. I can then factor this further. I need two numbers that multiply to positive 8 and add to a negative 9. These two numbers are negative 8 and negative 1. So x squared minus 9x plus 8 can be factored into x minus 8 times the quantity x minus 1 and we have the other quantity or factor of x minus 4. We already know that x minus 4 equals 0 is going to give us an x value of 4. Here we have x equals 8, and here x equals 1. These are our intercepts, also called our zeros, also called our solution. So let's plot our intercepts. We have an intercept at x equals 4, an intercept at x equals 8, and an intercept at x equals 1. Looking at our original polynomial, we want to use our leading coefficient to figure out our turning points. We know that our leading coefficient is 1, which is positive, and our exponent is 3, which is odd. So we have a down-up end behavior. Also, since our exponent is 3, we know that we have 1 less than 3, which is 2. So we have up to 2 turning points. So starting at the bottom, I'm going to go up through my first intercept, which is 1, go up as much, and then somewhere around there, turn, go through x equals 4, go down, and then turn, and go all the way up. And this is going to be our guesstimate of our graph x cubed minus 13x squared plus 44x minus 32. All right, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.